Hurricane Fiona smashed through Puerto Rico early Monday with pounding rain and winds that triggered mudslides, flooding and a power outage that swept across the entire island. The damages that we are seeing are catastrophic, Governor. Pedro Pierluisi said. The entire power grid went down on Sunday, putting all 1.5 million power customers in the dark. Only about 100, 000 of those customers had regained power early Monday. Even as the storm made landfall Monday in the Dominican Republic, it continued to slam Puerto Rico with unrelenting rains. Ernesto Morales, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in San Juan, said flooding reached historic levels. Hundreds of water rescues were underway and widespread evacuations were ordered in the U.S. territory of 3. 2 million people. Parts of the island, still healing from the battering wrought by Hurricane Maria five years ago, could see up to 30 inches of rain before the storm rolls out of the area late Monday, AccuWeather reported. These rains will continue to produce life-threatening and catastrophic flooding along with Mew. Life-threatening flash and urban flooding is likely for eastern portions of the Dominican Republic. Hurricane Fiona makes landfall, Puerto Rico hammered, hit with island-wide power blackout winds ripped the top off of houses and businesses. Water rushed through streets and into homes. Roads were torn apart and into the central town of Utuado a bridge installed by the National Guard after Maria washed away. And hours of rain were still to come. It's important people understand that this is not over, Morel said. Ada Vivian Roman, 21, said the storm knocked down trees and fences in her hometown of Toa Alta. She worried about how long the public transportation she relies on to get to her job at a public relations agency will be unable to operate. But I know that I'm privileged compared with other families who are practically losing their homes because they are underwater, she said. What is the Saphir Simpson scale? Breaking down how we classify hurricanes. Fiona was centered 15 mile west southwest of Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, with maximum sustained winds of 90 miles per hour early Monday, according to the U.S. National Hurricane Center. It was moving to the northwest at 8 miles per hour. Fiona became the third hurricane of the 2022 Atlantic season on Sunday, hours before the first landfall on the southwestern coast of Puerto Rico near Punta Tacón. Fiona was a Category 1 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson scale with maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. Fiona made landfall in the Dominican Republic early Monday about 20 miles south of Punta Cana with sustained winds of 90 miles per hour. 